You probably know that if you add an object in Blender, you will get a pop-up menu on the side to control the basic properties like subdivisions or radius in it, which is important. However, the moment you click with the mouse, it will go, and you might think that F9 will bring it, which does if it's right after you lose it. But for example, if you scale it, you will get the scale properties. See, the F9 menu is for the last operation you do, which make it not helpful in many cases. Now, there's this free tool called RePrimitive, an add-on which you can get off GitHub from this page, which is linked down in the first comment, and you can download it as shown in the page from the green code button as a zip file. Once you get it, go to Blender's add-on settings in the properties and install it as usual, and inside, you will see the two shortcuts for this tool. They are customizable, so you can fix them to whatever suits you. If we now hit Ctrl-Alt-A on this sphere, it will bring back the object properties. However, you might experience this error, where it make copies whenever you change the numbers. In this case, I find it useful to just go back to the add-on settings, check for update, then switch it to an older version, and restart Blender, and it should work. So Control alt a again on a transformed mesh, and we can get the properties back, then change it to suit whatever you're working on. This can happen frequently, especially with cylinders where you find the need mid-work to lower the subdivisions or increase them up. The second shortcut is for the rotation reset, because when we rotate any object, we can just hit Alt-R to reset the rotation back to default but this reset depends on those numbers in the Transform tab. Thus, if you apply the rotation at any time, it will be the reset point. And here where this tool come in use to fix your mesh back to its default rotation with the Control-Alt-R shortcut. I think this one is quite useful and should be available as a default function for beginners. So try it out and support the author, if you can, through his links. See you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.